If you love KDE Plasma and you're trying to decide between Kubuntu and Fedora KDE Plasma, here's the quick breakdown you actually need. Even though both give you the same KDE Plasma desktop, the experience you get from each distro feels very different. Kubuntu is based on Ubuntu, which means stability, a massive software library, and the super easy APT package manager. You also get Snap support built in, so installing apps, especially proprietary ones, is simple. Kubuntu keeps Plasma mostly untouched, clean, fast, and smooth. And thanks to Ubuntu's predictable release schedule and long-term support, updates feel reliable and stress-free. It even ships with a hardware enablement kernel, which is great if you're using newer laptops or components. Meanwhile, Fedora KDE Plasma leans more toward speed and modern design. It has a slightly more polished look out of the box with things like the floating panel and newer visual tweaks. Fedora uses the DNF package manager and has strong security with SELI and UX turned on by default. It's built for people who want newer tech and tighter integration with Flatpak. You do need to enable FlatHub manually, but once you do, the software selection becomes huge. Fedora KDE Plasma often feels uh, snappier and more responsive, but updates can sometimes require a reboot and certain apps need uh, co-PR repositories, which might feel a bit advanced for beginners. So which should you choose? It's simple. If you're new to Linux, want stability and prefer a clean, dependable KDE experience, just go with Kubuntu. If you want performance, modern defaults, stronger security, and you're comfortable with more technical tools, Fedora KDE Plasma is the better fit. Either way, you're getting one of the best KDE Plasma setups available right now.